Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to make this clear. Obama is being used to bring in the uh, the one world government. Make no make no question about it. Because when Henry Kissinger was being interviewed at the Wall Street, they asked him, "What do you think about this? What are your thoughts on Obama at this time?" Well, at this time in history, when he's coming in, there's different things going on throughout the world. We have the jihadist movement. We have this. He was naming other things that are going on. He's like, it's not really, it's not just a crisis, but it's a unique opportunity where really a new world order can be created. And he also said that we have elected Obama at this time in history to create the new world order. And Henry Kissinger, he trained Obama before he came into office. He trained him in a school, you name it, to bring in the one world government. So if that's the case, because you have to understand how these people's minds work. They want to make the world into how they visualize it in their mem in their mind. It's like someone that wants to build a house. They, they draw it on a piece of paper or whatever. They want to make the house exactly as the drawing is. So exactly as these globalists visualize how they want the world to be, that's how they're fulfilling their goal through Obama, to bring this whole world into a one-world government. Now, if, if Obama fulfills Kissinger's goal, that means after Obama, there's not going to be any more presidents. This whole world will be under a one-world uh, government. And the Bible is clear about this, that there's coming a one-world government. You can read that in Revelation chapter 13, verse 7. This is what it says. An authority over every tribe and people and tongue and nation was given to him. You see that? An authority over every tribe which all the tribes of the earth, and people, all the peoples, and tongues, all the languages of the people, and nations, all the nations of the earth, was given to him a global authority in control of the whole entire world. That right there is clearly talking globalism. And even in Daniel chapter 7, verse 23, says, Thus he said, The fourth beast shall be a fourth kingdom on the earth, which shall be diverse from all others, and it shall devour the whole world, trample it, and break it in pieces. Total control. So, the Bible is clear on that. Well, you guys can watch my other videos. I explain about Daniel chapter 2, about the image, which was Babylon. The head of gold was Babylon. The two, two chest sides of arms with the Medes and the Persians. The belly and thighs of brass was Greece. And the long length of iron was Rome. And the ten toes on the image of the feet is the final world government. Rome lost its power in 476 AD. It just collapsed because of its corruption, because of its perversion, the decline and fall of the Roman Empire. For those of you that know history, that the Roman Empire was not conquered. And yet, that's exactly what the Bible said in the book of Daniel. It says, about the fourth kingdom shall be as strong as iron, and it shall break in pieces. And I shall, and it shall devour all the, these other uh, kingdoms. And it broke in pieces, exactly as the Bible predicted. And no other world empire has ever, ever replaced the Roman Empire. There was never a fifth empire that replaced the Roman Empire, exactly as the Bible stated. And yet, to, to our time, and where we're in right now, we see it being resurrected. The ten toes are coming into power which is that final world government, which is the revived Roman Empire. Because back in uh, <clears throat> 1957, at the Treaty of Rome, they confirmed and ratified that the European Union is the revived Roman Empire, and they were calling Europe, the, they were, they, yeah, they were calling Rome to become the new capital of the new Europe. Okay? And, they, and now the Club of Rome, they already have plans ready to be laid out to, do, to uh, have ten kings over the European Union, which is going to be a world domination. This is where the world government is. But the nation states must come to an end. Nations that think they can stand alone is a lie. The nation state is dead. Nations will be a part of history. We're all going to be one, united, a world in unity. We all become one. But I want to get into this thing because this is the thing that's really bothering me and uh, I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. 
we may be killed before the rapture takes place. I don't know. I'm just saying. Because many people are trying to say, we're not going to be here for the tribulation. Yes, I understand that. And I know what my Bible tells me, that we will not be here. We will not even feel a drop of God's wrath. First Thessalonians chapter 1 from 9 to 10. What matter of entry we had towards you, how you turned from idols to serve the true and the living God, and to wait for his Son from heaven, who he raised from the dead, even Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. For God has not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. But I'm talking about the wrath of man. Because I was talking to somebody, and this is really crazy, ladies and gentlemen. The United States is going into dictatorship. Okay, Obama is becoming the dictator, and that's exactly what Henry Kissinger wanted. Henry Kissinger actually said that Obama is the hope of humanity. And Obama will be the head of the New World Order. This is what, this is what Kissinger says in his own statements. But I, don't, I don't think it's going to be him. Maybe for now, until the Antichrist comes. But we're not going to even be here for that, because the Bible says until the restrainer is taken out of the way, which is the church, we will not be here. But... Someone that I was, someone that was, we were talking yesterday, told me that I don't know if it's every week or every month. I forget the exact word for word that she said, but she said there's coming into the United States of oh, eighty thousand, eighty thousand Islamic soldiers. They're they're swearing them, they're swearing them in. They're being sworn into the United States. Over eighty thousand of them each week or each month. And this is not a joke, ladies and gentlemen. This is for real, okay? What do you think that's for? To confiscate the firearms of the American people. There is coming a revolution. They're going to throw people into FEMA camps. They're going to start lining people up. I don't know if this is going to happen before the rapture or not. That's why I say I don't know anymore. I just don't know anymore. Things are moving so rapidly in that direction. And plus, the Department of Homeland Security, has uh, they've been ordering ammo and ammunition. You have these, these tanks coming in on the trains and everything. This is worse than Nazi Germany people. This is very worse than Nazi Germany. You're going to have to carry papers around with you and a national ID, all that stuff, all that stuff. But this is what I want to get into. By 2016, maybe Obama's going to have a third term because he's a dictator now. He can do whatever he wants. Because someone, someone told me that nobody can take Obama out now. Obama is a dictator until someone else that comes in that is more powerful than him, then they can remove him. But Obama's plan is, before he leaves the United States, is to destroy the United States. Okay? Obama, by 2016, he wants to make the whole entire nation of the United States under Sharia law. Okay? Not just, not just the United States people. I'm talking about Canada and Mexico. That's why. The United States is going to go into dictatorship over Canada and Mexico, and they're all agreeing it. They're all agreeing on it. Mexico because it's all dictators. These are globalists. This is their plan. Now, once we are all under Sharia law, you're a Christian. You must accept Islam. You must accept Allah and Muhammad as his true prophet or die. They're going to they're gonna stop people from going to churches. You name it. They are bringing in tyranny. They're going to kill us. They are going to kill us, people. I don't know if we're going to be around for the rapture anymore. Because someone was saying, yeah, but what's the point of Jesus returning? This is the point. Because it's only the United States Canada and Mexico. Maybe the other countries later on. I don't know. I just know about Canada and the U.S. and the other countries. But this is part of their one world uh, religion. This is going to be the one world religion because which religion cuts your head off? It's Islam. It's Islam. Okay? So I just wanted to let you guys be aware of this. This is what's happening. This is Satan taking over the world. Satan is in control of the world now. God has given him absolute control over everything right now. He's taking over the world, but God is still sovereign. God is still in control, but Satan is establishing his kingdom. And if, and if Obama fulfills Kissinger's goal, by the end, before he's done his, uh, his role, this whole world will be under a one-world government, because it's coming from his mouth. We have elected Obama at this time in human history to create the new world order. New world order. Everything's going to be united. Total cashless society. Total enslavement. They're going to have their ways. These people, they do not care about us. They are doing what they are going to do. And nobody can stop them. That's why they're bringing in the military. You're against them, we're going to kill you. 
We're going to throw you in the FEMA camp or they'll just shoot you right there on the spot. These people don't care. They have no love for America. They have no love for nothing. All that these people love is globalism. We must go to a global age and whoever stands in between us and our new world, our bright new world, they must be terminated. They must be wiped off the face of the map. And that's what they're going to do, just like they have done down through history with the eugenics. And I can go on and on. Government is responsible for killing its own people down through history. Nero, bur Nero burned down Rome and he blamed it on the Christians and he killed the Christians. Hitler burned down his rage day and he blamed it on an another country so he can install a powerful police state martial law. And that's exactly what they were doing. That was the reason for uh, September 11th to create a disaster so they can bring this whole world into a police state. We need a secure world. We need an all-powerful world army and the only way that we can have security. And by the way, we're all fighting terrorism worldwide. So the only way that we can protect humanity is if we unite all as one in this one world uh, government, which is a bunch of bull. There's no such thing as terrorism. That is a lie. Okay? Yes, there's such thing as terrorism, like with Iran and all that, but talking about the Al-Qaeda, it's not real. They created it. The United States government funded the Al-Qaeda. They create a foreign enemy so they can attack their own people and then they can blame it on a foreign enemy and say, you see, this is why we need to establish a world government. So we can have all more security, more surveillance, more this, more that. But it's a bunch of bull. The Al-Qaeda and the United States are all working together on a world government. It all, it's all an illusion, ladies and gentlemen. We are living in the matrix right before our eyes. Everything is not real. The economy is not doing well. The United States dollar is going to collapse. They actually said that uh, by 2018, that's when they're going to have their global currency in. <clears throat> and guess what they're going to name their global currency? I don't know if this is. I don't know if this is for certain. It's just something that I heard. There's only one thing that is certain. This is the Bible. And the Bible says there's coming a world government, a global currency, a world religion. You name it, everything's going to be one. <clears throat> but this is what they want to name their. Uh, global currency it's phoenix you know on the back of the dollar bill with the all-seeing eye and that bird on the side that's a phoenix they want to name their global currency phoenix that's what the g20 summit they're all working on a world currency you name it they're bringing it in so this is all i wanted to tell you guys because what these people want they want a one world government a one world religion a one world flag a one world constitution a global political system which is a one world dictator, a global political system, even the United Nations is calling for it, even the Pope was calling for it. He said he wants a one world government that will be run by a global leader, and then you have Japan, saying that we want a one world financial system, you name it, you name it people, this is what they want. And they're going to succeed. Knowing what the Bible tells me, world government is coming. Right now, we are on the road towards world government. And these are the four things that the Antichrist is going to have. Number one, a one world government. Number two, a one world religion. And number three, a one world military power. And number four, a global economic system. And we are already living in a global economy. All that we need now to support it is a global government. And day by day, each day that passes, we become more closer to a world government and we need a world currency that will be in it. That's what they say. We need a single bank. So, this is where we are, ladies and gentlemen. We are living in perilous times, exactly as the Bible stated. And this should show anybody what God showed Daniel and what God showed John over 2,000 years ago and John 3,000 years ago. The world scene is exactly, precisely as God stated that it would be. Word for word, line upon line, right to the smallest detailed letter. The way the world is and what's happening right now in Israel, they're about to break out in war and everything. I can give you prophecy after prophecy. But I just wanted to warn you guys about the coming, the coming Sharia law. That they're going to kill us Christians and they're going to make us, they're going to take away our rights and everything. So... This is all I wanted to say to you guys. It's coming. Obama is protected. It doesn't matter if he does right or wrong. He is being protected by the power elite. They are giving him power to do, what, do whatever it takes. To get our new world order. Whatever. Even if you have to break the law, do it. Nothing. You can't go to jail. You can't do nothing. He is protected by the globalists. Because they're not going to let him go to jail if they brought him in. To bring in their world government. 
you guys got to think. This is for real. This is a battle that's going on. And this is all I got to say, so I'm going to let you guys go from here, and God bless you all.